Hey guys, Amp here bringing you the third Affinity Designer tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to use the shape tool. Now uh, there are a few shape tools in Affinity Designer and uh, they're all right here and they're all represented by different shapes so they're right over here. There's four starting off with the uh, rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, the rounded rectangle tool, and the polygon tool. Now the polygon tool if you hold on it or drag down you can come up with all of these different forms of the polygon tool and you can just click drag out with any of the shapes you can also click and drag if you hold uh, shift it will make a perfect shape so this is holding shift for the circle tool this is not making it any lips now when you have a uh, shape selected you can come up here and grab your move tool and you can move your shape around. This means your shape is selected, so you can also change the fill color and the stroke color. And you can change the stroke's thickness. Um, now all these shapes will create new layer tools. And if you go into the node tool on them, you can shift these points to make variants on your shapes and uh, the move tool allows you to move different shapes into different places and you can even combine two of the shapes to overlap and come in here select this move this a little bit down and you can make more shapes with them grouped. You can make shapes within shapes. And uh, if you come into the polygon tool, you can select any number of these. You can make more more pointed, less pointed. Um, you can change your number of points up here. So like here's 18 points. You can make it up. Here's 48. You can just keep increasing even if you want to do more and more. So you can change different radii points up here on different tools. Now all these tools have different things you can do to edit them. So these orange little node things allow you to change different aspects of the shape right here. And you can, ch you can tell if it's symmetrical when these red lines come up versus green lines. So now you know the shape's the same. There's a bunch of different tools you can play around with um, that, are, that allow you to di change different things about them. And uh, the shape tool is really useful if you have a shape that needs to be done really quickly but you don't want to trace anything out. Um, it's a great tool to use in conjunction with the pen tool. And uh, if you want to see how to use the pen tool, it's in a previous video. But uh, it allows you to create more than just stock shapes. So um, uh, if you need a certain a sort of stock shape, if you're creating like a logo or something, uh, the shape tool is great for this. Um, you can even add text to certain shapes and everything and add uh, different variants to your shapes. You can customize your shapes really to, to no end. And... Um, it's a great, great tool. I use it for um, making small drawings. Like you can make like a quick snowman right here. You can make something quick like this. I come up and make a quick snowman like this. It's good for making quick, quick little doodles here and there. It's great if you're doing something like a presentation and you need something like an arrow to point to something in your presentation. You can really customize all of your shapes and everything. It's great for uh, really adding a new th new layer to your effects. You can make sort of comics if you want with uh, the text bubble. So all of these shapes 
are really good for quick doodles. And uh, the shape tool also works in conjunction with these buttons up here and allow you to uh, rearrange your things. And uh, it's a really great tool. It takes a uh, full advantage of most of the tools in Affinity Designer. So if you liked the video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, uh, and subscribe for more. And um, I'm thinking on doing a sort of speed drawing video here and there where I just go through and I'm in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo and let me think, let me know what you think about that. I'm just going to go and make some random art and just do a speed run through it and uh, I'm going to set it to some background music and uh, that's uh, what's up next. I have more Affinity Designer and more Affinity Photo tutorials coming out soon and I think I'm going to start that new speed drawing tutorial or just a speed drawing in general very soon so uh stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching